Hello folks, blogger Crystal Cox here. And I want to ask you a question. What are you doing? What in the world are you doing? Okay? I kicked the door down. Yeah, I'm a little bit scruffy. I kicked the door down for you. I won an amazing court precedence. I gave my life for your right to bitch, to rant, to gripe. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, you don't have to go protest in the streets now, okay? You don't have to, you don't even really have to sue anybody. You don't have to battle. You don't have to get, give up your jobs. Yeah, you're probably going to get sued if you have a blog bitching about something. But guess what? You're going to win. Okay, Obsidian versus Cox gave you the right in the court of law, equal rights is the biggest hundred trillion billion dollar newspaper out there. You, you, whoever you are listening to me right now, start a blog, start a hundred, start a thousand. And guess what? You are media. We're all journalists now, okay? We see what's going on, we tell the story, we are the journalists. Of course, the small town up to the biggest city, the cops, the attorneys, the judges, uh, the newspapers, you name it. They want to shut you up. And they did. They shut you up for a long time. They put everything they had at me, okay? I lost every single thing I knew or thought was my life to do this. This was a spiritual mission for me. Okay, I had divine direction to do this. I lost my home. I lost, as I said, everything I knew to be my life. And I would do it again a million times over. Because I had God, Goddess, the Great Spirit on my side. Yeah, it was hard. It's been very lonely. It's been very hard. I have, like I said, lost everything I knew to be my life. Okay, so this is blogger Crystal Cox. Sometimes they call me crazy Crystal Cox. They call me a one woman barrage. They call me um, many, many, many things out there on many blogs worldwide. But you know what? I've changed the world and I've changed it for you. Every single one of you who are victims of corruption, victim of rogue attorneys and overreaching judges and bad cops, those of you who want to tell the story of a good cop to protect them, Whatever you want to say, whatever news you have, you get that right now in a court of law legally. Not only that, not only do you have equal rights as any journalist in free speech because of this case, Obsidian versus Cox, you also have the right to break the story. Okay? So if you see something happen, you're the first one telling it, you are protected just as much as any journalist you have equal rights. It doesn't mean you can start bitching about your neighbor's Christmas lights or their fights or what's going on. But if your neighbor's, you know, hitting his wife or if someone's molesting somebody or if you see a car accident outside or crime or you want to complain about your local mayor or your local cops or you know some information about um, CEOs or, I mean, the, any issue you can possibly think of, start a blog. You don't have to go out of your house to do it. You can fight right there from your chair. And by fight, I mean that in a positive love and light way. Okay, we are here as light workers and we are here as, you know, people who want to change the world and we're not strong enough to go out there and die for it. I have been willing to die for it. I have had death threats. I have had, um, I have went through things that were seriously unimaginable to me 10 years ago. However, I knew spiritually it was the right thing to do and I was willing to die for it. Yes, if you have a blog, you, you, odds are you're going to get sued. But your attorney is going to find my court case and it's going to be over. Just over. You got anti-slap laws, you got retraction laws, you got shield laws, and you got, um, you, you put in the Obsidian versus Cox case at the Ninth Circuit and you have equal rights to any journalist. Yeah, the judges threw me under the bus and ran me over and they ran me over and ran me over. The New York Times ran me over and Forbes ran me over and NPR ran me over and everybody ran me over. But for you, the precedence is still there. 
There's no reason whatsoever every single one of you should not have a blog bitching about something. You got nothing to bitch about? Why don't you look at the Lakota and the pipeline issue? Okay? Why don't you just grab something, feel that passion in you, and blog it, okay? And change the world. Can't change the world with one blog? I did. I changed the world with one blog. Yeah, I gave my life for it. But I changed the world. I gave voice to victims where they didn't have a voice, okay? Maybe you just know somebody in your town that's going through something really, really bad and you have the inside details. You know, post the documents, post the videos, post the truth, post the facts in the case, okay? Be their voice, be their media. The local newspaper may not take it. The local uh, TV station won't take it. National media won't take it. You take it. You know what's going on. You take it. You can upload documents on Google, on DocStock, on Scribe, many places online for free. You can upload video on tons of video share sites. You can do, I report CNN, you can do, I think um, a lot of different places have free press releases. You can write the story that you know about this victim and you can get them heard. Someone you know being bullying, you have proof? Report on it. You see something? And we say, see something, say something, <laughs> right. And then they sued me and basically just ruined my life. But you know what? I had 15 offers to settle and I said no. As I said, I lost everything that was near and dear to me. But I knew spiritually it was the right thing to do. So you have no excuse. Start a blog. Start 40 Google sites, start Yahoo, start any free blog site out there, any free press. You don't need any money. All you need is the passion to do it. Passion and research, blog it. When you title the blog, title it for what you want to come up in the search engines for. Research some of my videos on how to do it on uh, Blogger Crystal Cox and corruption in YouTube. Email me, reverendcrystalcox at gmail.com. I can no longer take stories, okay? I take what the Great Spirit tells me, and I blog on what I feel is of the highest and best good. I can't take stories. I can't write stories for other people. I set a precedence. You can do it yourself, okay? There's free blogs out there. There's free video sites. Uh, you can talk about it. You can show documents. There's no reason at all for you to be sitting in your room not bitching about something. Well, I mean, not just to your friends and neighbors, but to the world. If you know some shit about some shit, tell some shit to some people, okay? Expose them. Stand up for victims of domestic violence, victims of molestation, victims of corruption, victims of fraud and forgery, forgery and oppression. Stand up for something, as the saying goes, or you'll fall for anything. I kick the door down for you. There's no reason for you to not be reporting on something. You are the media. Take the place of big media. Take the place of the lie with the truth. You're the citizen journalist. You have equal rights in a court of law now. Do it. You are the media.